Hi, I'm Jen Madrini and I'm here with Charles Smith II who's just launched his first Spring 2016 Men's Capsule Collections. Charles, it's so nice to see oh, you. Oh, nice to meet you. Well, yes. thank you for having me. <laughs> Tell me what, what was going through your head as you were designing your first men's collection. I think my most of my task was don't do black. Because that's what you wear. You yeah, wear black exactly. all the time. I wear black all the time, but it's like, you know, how can I just kind of give people something different, another option? You know, you kind of like the fabric tells you what to do in a sense, like, you know, when you go looking for fabrics and everything like that, and I just kind of looked for that and let it tell me, like, what it was going to be. But like I said, with doing the men's, I definitely wanted to keep it focused and very narrow just to test it out. That way I didn't do too much, but I didn't do too little. So, so there's color. Yes, there's a uh, green, <laughs> like a forest, like kind of like militant green. There's this chocolate brown knits that I have um, and this like heathered knit, but it's like, a, like I said, infused with like this cashmere and it's like a, almost like a Merlot brown mix. Like it's, it's interesting and it's comfortable. I call it the travel sweater because <laughs> it's like it's that oversized feel. It feels good. It's one of those things where like if you're going to the airport, you just literally just throw it on. It has pockets on it too as well and it's just comfortable. Gotta have and pockets. It's, yeah, and it's long sleeve and you can roll it up. How many pieces in the collection? I have eight hey. in the men's collection. Like I said, the green rib, and I have a chocolate brown rib knit, and this aspen white knit that actually has like pearl detailings on it. It's the Swarovski pearls around the end of the sleeve, um, and then it has like maybe like three of them like right here along the exposed seam. So you're adding jewelry to your clothes? Yeah, because it's almost like a hint to the next collection. I try to sneak some like a uh, like to be continued piece in there a little bit, like to, to what's coming for the next collection. So I definitely did that with this. Well, I'm loving the, the uh, long skinny silhouettes with the thumb holes. Yeah. Tell me about <laughs> those pieces. Uh, they're just, I, it's like I do those because it's like my cocoon kind of thing about me. It's where like, I kind of like to be like covered up all the time, kind of like doing this. It's just, it plays in my mannerisms a lot. So when I design, that's one thing I do always design for is mannerisms, how they carry themselves, it's about their personalities, the way that they move, kind of, because it's like the haute couture way of doing things. It's like, you know, this is what I present, this is what I can do, but you're the one buying it, so I can do what you want me to do to it. The only thing that can't change, which is the rule, is the aesthetic design of it can't change, but you want me to shorten this, I can do that. <laughs>